All right, Shalom, Nair Shirala. Back again with another Lord willing, edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Before I begin, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Next up, the Ba'anzi, the Apostle, the Elders, the Great Millstone, who still go out to the highways and byways and preach the truth according to the Bible. And peace, blessing, and certainty, Yahweh's out there pushing this truth of Yahweh by Shem Shai with righteousness, boldness, and sincerity. And uh, I just want to make a quick lesson, you know, um, you know, before I go into work, you know, I'm outside, outside my job. Uh, I just want to uh, do a do a quick video, you know, through the spirit, through the work, you know. And I, uh, I'm going to let the uh, description speak, and I'm going to try to break it down to the best of my ability. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not for this people. Who is this people? It's talking about you two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who will now hearken to the words of Yah by Shemuel Shah by uh, his prophets, man. Because here it is, we got there every single weekend preaching the truth of Yah by Shemuel Shah, breaking the break, breaking the back Bible down right, preaching the true doctrine of the scriptures. He's preaching the same doctrine that Yah Shah preached when he was down here on the earth, man. And these people were not uh, hearkening, and these people were not hearkening unto us, man. So therefore, in this scripture right here, it says, pray not for these people, man. You know, that shows that we don't have to care about these two thirds, man. Because if you pray somebody, you pray, you, you care for them. You know what I mean? You know? So, um, yeah. It's like, yeah. So let me read that again. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, not uh, pray not thou for these people. Yeah, you don't pray for the two thirds, man. Two thirds so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are antichrists, man. You know, they're Satanists, man. They don't believe in Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. All they are is a bunch of hypocrites, man. You know, that's all that they are. They say that, uh, they, like, like the scripture says, uh, what they mouth they do out of me, but their hearts are far from me, man. You know? So, we, we don't pray for the two thirds, man. Two thirds, two thirds, like it was written in Zechariah uh, 13 and 8, they're going to get put to death, man. You know, uh, neither lift you up a cry or prayer for them. Yeah, we're not going to cry for you two thirds when calamities come upon you, man. When tribulations come upon you, man. We don't cry when you get shot by the cops. We don't cry when, when something bad happens to you. We don't cry for how your, 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 your house catch on fire. We don't cry when you bust your, when you, you know, so when you bust your ass, you know, excuse my French. I mean, we don't care if, uh, we don't care if anything happens to you, man. Because you're not, uh, you're not, you're, you're going, because you're, you're against Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. You know? You didn't hearken. It's like it. Don't get to go by. Yeah, big ass truck. Um, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. See, even Yahweh Shimei Shai is not going to hear their prayers, man. You know? He says, he said, Yahweh Shimei Shai said, he's not going to hear them in the time of their trouble, man. And what's their trouble? It's talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, when uh, when when the when the FEMA when the FEMA camps, the concentration camps, when uh when the Gurgle troops come in, the UN troops, foreign troops come in, start kicking down their doors and stuff like that, bringing them into concentration camps, putting that on instant teens in their faces, that gonna pistol whipping them to death. You know what I mean? Uh, the pestilence. Uh, you know what I mean? All different types of calamities. Uh, uh, uh famine of the bread. You know, even famine of the world, like Amos eight and eleven says, man. Y'all by Shimon Shah said he's not going to hear you cry to under him, man. And that's a fearful thing, man. You know, you don't want to be no two-third, man. Because like, this scripture right here is like, it's fearful already, man. This truck right here, man. Of all the places you got to go, you got to come over here with I'm here. But uh, so like y'all, like, for, yeah, like y'all by Shimon Shah, let me read that again. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry out to me for their trouble. See, y'all by Shimon Shah is not going to hear your cries, man. He's not going to hear your prayers, man. You know, I forgot what that scripture says, and um, it, uh, I forgot what that scripture says. I think it's in Proverbs. It says, uh, I think it's like a rough paraphrasing. Basically, their prayers should be an abomination. I think it's just the five, the wicked, or something like that. The both of their prayers should be an abomination. So yeah, man. So you know, what I mean, he's not gonna hear your prayers, man. That's a fearful thing that the Creator of the heavens and the earth says he's not gonna hear your prayers, man. That means, man. That means there's no hope for you. There is no hope for you, man. Repenting is, is over, man. You know? There's nothing that you can do. 
So uh, let me read this one more time. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not for these people. Yeah, so so, so us Akims, man. Akims, man, you know, we, we don't pray for these two-thirds, man. You know, the, the great, the, we, 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 the men of the Lord, a great millstone on down. You know what I mean? We don't pray for two-thirds, man. To hell with two-thirds, man. So I, excuse my French, but, man, man, listen, man. Don't worry about the two-thirds, man. Like the Lord told Ezra, don't worry about how they're going to die, man. Don't worry about them. You know, need to lift the up, need to lift up a cry or a prayer for them. We're not gonna cry. We're not gonna lift. We're not gonna pray for two thirds, man. We're not gonna lift up a cry for you. We're not gonna beg for you. We're not gonna do nothing for you, two thirds, man. You two thirds are destined for death. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And how about Shimon Shah is not gonna deliver you in the time of your trouble? No, he's not gonna answer or hearken to your prayer, man. He just gonna shut your prayers to the side like it was nothing, like it, like he didn't even, like he didn't even pray to him. He's just gonna completely ignore you, and that's and that's that's scary, man. You know, you know. So it, 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 so you, so you, man, you y'all better repent while while the doors are repent still open, man. Because y'all about Shima shots about to bring all death and destruction to America, man. That's set the Lord, that's set the Holy Bible, man. And if you're part of that two third, if you wanna be a two third, you wanna be a nigga, man. Then we're not gonna lift up a cry. We're not gonna lift up a, a cry for Yahweh Shah for you. We're not gonna beg for you. All you, all we gonna say is that you're just gonna be destined to death, and you can get put to death by Yahweh Shimon Shah, man. You know. So with that, a Lord when this video was edified for your Akims out there. I want to give all praises on the glory to the heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Next up, the honesty, the apostles, the elders, the great millstones, still go out to the highways and byways and preach the truth according to the Bible. And peace, blessing, and safety, and mercy out to you, Akims out there. Push the truth for Yahweh, Shimei, Shah, with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity. With that, Shalom.